A complainer is easy. That's easy. You can stop dealing with complainers and just be through with that. But a drainer, Lord, they just weigh on you. Traits. Make their urgency your emergency. Your urgency is not my emergency. Your urgency is not my emergency. This leadership, right? We're going to talk real, right? Are we in the locker room tonight? Those that are on my mastery series, they know about the locker room. The locker room is where we on the camera that night. I drill you. I ask you to do, you know, certain things. Whatever the topic is that night, we have what's called locker room sessions once a month in my mastery course. The locker room is in here tonight, live at Game Changer for this particular group. What I'm telling you guys is this. You can't get in business and still have soft skin. If you got soft skin, just stay on the W-2. That's the equivalent of soft skin. That means you ain't got to do nothing but what you do every day. Everything pretty much stays the same. You've been there for many years. You got every problem mastered. You know what's coming before it come. That's fine. In business, you got unforeseen circumstances that hit you like crazy, and you got to be able to handle it. They project their lack of preparation into your desperation. In other words, now you got to be desperate for them. You got to get something done desperately for them. Common quote. Can I this? Can you that? Why can't this? Why won't that? Sound like a bunch of people with a bunch of questions that's draining you. Why can't this? Why won't that? Why is this? Can I that? The problem, they possess a sense of entitlement. They possess a sense of entitlement. Let me tell you guys something, man. I don't care how much money I got now. I don't care how much money God's going to bless me with. I don't care about money like people think I do. I just know money provides freedom, options, and choices, and I want all my friends to have some. I am probably, I am one of the most down-to-earth people you ever meet. If I could have, I, I had to run in there today, but if I could have hugged each of y'all independently coming in there, I would have. If, if I could stay here all night and answer questions, I would. If I could take pictures with each and every person, I would. Why? Because I have dedicated 22 years of my life to help people succeed. Now, here's what I do know, though. The only reason I've lasted 22 years, because I don't deal with this clown. <laughs> so it's not an arrogance thing. I'm telling you guys, you got to posture yourself. They possess a sense of what? Entitlement. Man, let me tell you something. My point earlier, I don't care how successful I become, I don't have a sense of entitlement because I've been broke. I have been broke. Not enough money to get to the gas station to get gas. What if I run out on the way to the gas station? Looking for a change to put in the tank. Change. Change to get to the meeting and hope somebody sign up. Y'all don't understand. I have been there. I know what you're going through. That's why I'm so transparent about everything. But that's why I'm also the example that it happens to all of us. So you, you, you hear stories of those of us that made it, and you don't think that your story is being developed too. It ain't like made it is past tense. We're all still making it, and so are you. Come on. But... If you have a sense of entitlement that something is due to you, something is owed to you, you got a negative attitude, I got malicious intent, we ain't doing nothing right, all of this, they'll drain you. I'm driving one day, I just come up with a cool idea. When people register, wouldn't it be cool if everybody changed their Facebook profile so their team can see everybody coming? Everybody in the group can see everybody coming. And then they might pique some interest on your Facebook page when they say, what's Game Changer? It's like a pique interest thing. It's just an idea. It's just a thought, you know, driving one day. It ain't part of your package. It ain't nothing you paid for. It ain't, you know, it ain't entitled to you. It's just something we do. Just a thought. Just letting you inside my head today so we can get this clear. Because if one more person talk like this person about to talk to me about this, just warn your people, don't sweat your picture. Yeah. You know, honorable intention. 
Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Brian, I've been added to the Game Changer group, blah, blah, blah. I'd definitely be a Game Changer, blah, blah, blah. I love you so much right now, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I had to come back and tell you how much I love you. <laughs> this person is excited because I do two free pre-Game Changer webinars. I do two. Just an idea I had. It ain't what you paid for. <laughs> Just little bonus stuff. I said, hey, if I can train them up before they get here, then we get here, I can do some other stuff. So why don't we do two webinars that build up only for people that are registered, and then we're training here, and then we can move on. Just a thought I had, fleeting. Give them a little free picture to promote. It ain't part of your package. I added her to the group, the private game changer group. She loves and hundreds and kisses and oh, by the way, oh shit, I had <laughs> to come back in here and tell you I'm excited, I love you. I can't remember if I thanked you the other day running into you in, at the game show training. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love me. Hey, Brian, I don't know if Shada had a chance to look at her email yet, but can you ask her something for me? I did send a picture of the Game Changer event. I placed it in the group. However, I guess so much of my picture had to or got cropped off. So it took all the hair and things off. <laughs> now, let me be clear. We, we, we tell you what to send us. We don't just, we ain't got pictures of you in our photo album. <laughs> so if you send one looking like this. <laughs> that's how you're going to look on this thing. <laughs> we ain't got time to call you, straighten it up, send another one. One lady sent her driver's license photo. Oh, y'all don't hear me? Yeah, oh yeah, driver's license, ID, want your ID in the thing. So if you send me a picture where you looking down to the side, or if you got on red bottoms, that ain't gonna make it. You give us your picture. I send a picture in the group. I guess the picture had to do it got cropped off. So it took off all my hair and things off. I really just like it. I want it to be advertising, and I'm using the picture on my page for things, but I hate it. I sent an email with a different picture to be used. I mentioned that I know she's busy, it's important to me, and it means a lot. Entitlement. You know, the picture is just something we do. It ain't in your package. <laughs> you know, it's, we got honorable intentions. It means a lot to me. Now, I want y'all to watch how I handle this, seriously. I want y'all to think I'm just a mean guy. I just, I, watch. Can you please see her ask her if she got a, that particular email in the midst of the many she probably gets because I really like that picture to be replaced with the other one I sent. Okay, so we got we to gotta redo yours. You sent us one. You don't like it. So you want us to do you another one. Okay, forget about the other 22 that came in that ain't got, we ain't got to it yet. Okay. She did, meaning she got the email. This is me. She did. But she can't switch it, see? That's why we ask you guys to send the one you prefer. We can't take the time on, the, on that right now. It's crunch time. You want me to ask if there's a fee for a designer, because Shane is a graphic designer, you want me to ask if there's a fee to switch it? Now, I'm bluffing. I'm thinking she's going to be like, oh, nah, you know what, go on, roll, ain't no fee. I swear to God we wouldn't charge for that. But I'm just trying to get you to go back to a relative weight of importance. Yeah. Ain't no fee. We do it for free. But we're not going to go back and forth to your photo album and pick the best one you like. <laughs> I will pay for that if I understand you correctly. <laughs> Can that one just be deleted and do the other different one? Thanks. 
yes, she can remove the picture and replace it with a new one. It's really not that serious, see. <laughs> the event is nine days away, but okay. I'll get a design quote. I don't even know what the quote is. I ain't even care. <laughs> I just wanted her to see that work, when you, you can't put people to work and then expect it to be free. That was my lesson to her, right? Thank you. It is important to me because it is my picture that's being shown. Cool. Thirty dollars. I just threw some shit out there. Thirty dollars. I ain't asked Shane nothing because we ain't really on charge for nothing. Thirty dollars to redesign it. What's being redesigned? Your new picture has been deleted, replaced, and embellished. Back out, right? <laughs> she sent this. I, I'm, not, I'm not revealing her identity. She sent her real picture. In other words, this the one, this the one she want. The picture I initially sent was fine. Everything was just cropped off on the right side, I guess because it wasn't centered. There, were lots of, there was lots of space on the left. Brian, on the picture I sent, what I'm saying is the picture was already fine. It needed to be moved over from the beginning because everything on it, like my hair and earrings, were cut off. I don't see a reason to pay $30 for that picture. That was perfectly fine. Yeah, see, welcome to my world. Yeah. We're going to have a locker room tonight. We're out of here in a minute. Lock it up. Lock it up. Yeah. Oh, we got customer service department now. Either this one, which was the original, either this one, which was the original one that was fine with my hair showing, or the other one that I just sent in the email with the lavender collar shirt. in case for some reason she couldn't use this one again. Watch this. Yeah, my reply in green. So at this point, I just done shut up. I just don't want the time frame between the game changer coming to maximize the importance of me being able to have what I feel is an okay looking picture that I use to advertise game changer. Hope, that's misspell, hope my views, I mean hype my views up about my trip that is coming up and it makes them excited to follow what I'm doing while I'm in and out of town and they potentially join. Cool. Which is what the intention is. Right. Until you send pictures back and forth and worry about your lavender collar. <laughs> it may not seem important to y'all, my friend, but game changers about <laughs> game changers in about six days. Now a minute ago it was nine days. So hint hint, three days done passed. She still hit me. We only have six days left to tell people with pictures like that about this thing that I'm doing to get them excited about what it is and I want to be a part of it. I don't want the importance of having what I think was a good picture minimized because it seems a lot to me and what I'm doing and what I'm trying. It means a lot to me and what I'm trying to do. This me. Here. Here. Redone. New picture, lavender collar, earrings. Done. I sent it to her. Ah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, sugar, sugar, sugar. Love you, love you, love you, Jesus. What do you do it? You're so freaking wonderful with that great sugar on top, hearts and kisses. Hey, Brian. I've been having problems covering these freaking shifts at work. Twice someone access to work the shifts and then guess goes into the system where we work or whatever and freaking change their mind about the shifts. It goes back to my work responsibility. She ain't coming.
The question is, if I can't make it the game changer, I think I remember you saying that if you pay for it, you'll be able to transfer it to another event. Is that the case? Girl, yes. <laughs> you can always transfer to another event or another person. I swear to God. After this, I said, Shana, we ain't doing no more Facebook peak interest scripts. You can't let one person ruin it, though, can you? So y'all know, obviously, we didn't do it. Because some of y'all got y'all like up until yesterday. So what my point is, she ain't even here. All that. We went back and forth nine days. She drained me for a week about an optional tool that we created just with honorable intentions, but her lavender collar and earrings wasn't showing. There's somebody in this room that's a client of mine that's paying $10,000 for my highest program. I take, tell you how to turn your life and tragedy into triumph and how to monetize that. It takes a year. Ten grand, like it ain't nothing. Ten grand. Brian, I want to learn how to speak. Brian, I want to learn how to train. I want to do what you do. I got a program. All right, boom. Every month, here's your assignment. We talk. Here's what we do. By the end of a year, you got a full launch new business with your brand, your story, your speaking, your books, your this, your that, your. Ten grand. Didn't blink. Didn't blink. Because... People who understand value and other people's time and don't only look at things from their perspective, that's the team you need to be working with. All these people that you work with that drain you and complain all the time, they're going to pull you back with them.